Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. This video is very very important because PLC channel is the first channel is providing the information regarding the CPU related voltage and CPU related signals. Let us start. I have taken here a schematic. This is from Dell Alienware 15R2. So in this, in a gaming laptops, there will be a separate processor and PCH. So now I am going to tell you the processor signals and processors voltage requirement. How to check in a schematic. Let us start. See, in this schematic, here is the processor Intel Skylake H BGA CPU. Here is the PCH. PCH is entirely separate. So we will discuss only the processor related things. See now this processor is connected with the RAM and here EDP. See Thunderbolt related connections. Here NVIDIA it's a graphic card. So it's related with the external graphics and HDMI connection. And also it's related with the Calendra connector. See here through the DMI port it's communicating with the PCH. So let us check the processor. See page number 7 to 13. <coughs> it's very simple to identify the processor voltages. It's not more complicated. Just the thing is we need to give some co little bit concentration. See <coughs> in this multiple pins are there. Here VCC has given. VCC is very very important voltage to the processor. VCC is nothing but core voltage. The name by default the name is VCC to the processor. VCC sense. What is that VCC sense? Isolated low impedance voltage sense pin. It will carry the power information. The core required voltage information to the CPU IC. Here VCC SA. Processor system agent power rail. VCC SA system agent power rail VDDQ here it's 1.2 volts DDR it's coming from the RAM right this is system memory power rail one more important is system memory power rail VCC IO VCC IO the processor input output power rail the processor input output power rail VCC ST sustain voltage for processor standby modes VCC STG gated sustain voltage for processor standby mode VCC PLL it's a processor phase lock loop phase lock loop voltage to the processor it's a processor VCC in the sense it's a core the voltage Phase lock loop voltage. VCC ST OC. OC in the sense over current. VCC SA. System agent sense. See, this one is connected to the CPU core IC. This one will carry the power related information. What are the power required to this system agent? That one is sense sensing voltage uh, to the CPU core IC. VCC GT. VCC GT. It's a processor graphics power rail. Processors graphics power rail. See VCC in the sense core. It's a standard one. The voltage. The voltage is for what? Graphics power rail. These all are ground. VSS is the ground. These all are the power rail. It's very simple, right? So if you get these voltages, the processor will start working the final voltages not middle one it's initial voltages are more but the final voltage i'm talking about now what are the power sequence now let's talk about the power sequence now the signal processor power good processor power good the signal the processor required when the vcc the core and the vddq are stable then this particular signal will generate it goes to the cpu when it will generate when the vcc and 
the VDDQ are stable. Next, VCCST power good. See the same kind this power good also. The VCCST and the VDDQ, these both voltages are stable, then this particular signal will generate it processor access to the processor main important signal is processor detect it's a pull down directly to the zero ohms on the processor package to the ground the main signal is indicates the processor is present vid alert vid sck vid sot these signals are very very important signals because this one transfer the power management information between the processor and voltage regulator controllers. Once again, I'll repeat, these signals are very important to transfer power management information between the processor and the voltage regulator controllers. PM sync, PM sync, it's a power management related status the pch will give to the processor this one also important signal pm down pm down power management down here the cpu will active once the pch reports it gives the reports to the processor reset ash see this is very very important signal what is that reset ash here plt rst to the cpu the platform reset from the pch to the processor the signal is towards the processor processor request this is a request signal to do the work from the cpu processor hot See, this is too important signal. Once the processor is too hot, this particular signal will enable. It, inform, it informs to the motherboard section, the processor is reached the maximum temperature, then it's going to off. If it is a disable, then it will work normally. Thermal trip. See, once the processor gets more heat, the processor itself will protect uh, to getting the damage due to the heat. That's thermal trip means it will shut down. In some cases, cat error. This error comes system cannot move to any other operations. It will halt the systems. See. It's too simple, right? It's not complicated. Some most important signals the processor is required or it will send to PCH. So that's it. Here you have to just re-glance these signals and voltages. I will come back in details in next videos regarding this CPU management, power management, CPU signals. Thank you. Thank you very much.